Hi guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. As you can see, it snowed a little bit. I'm still gonna step out on faith and put packages in the mail on Friday. Food for thought. Since I don't believe in telling people what to do or not to do and this is wrong and that's wrong, your lessons are your lessons. No matter what anybody says, your spiritual contract is only yours. Just because we have similar experiences doesn't mean you should do it how I did it. That's crazy. So, food for thought. When they say readers can't read themselves, that's simply not true. That is simply not true. It might take years and years and years and years of practice. But isn't that why we have pendulums and, and ruins and cards and other things? So we can get spiritual messages through items, talismans, amulet is to let go, Ta talisman is to tell me, okay, yeah, I'm right for me, I'm right for me, I might not be right for you, so no. Nobody can tell you. No, you can't give readings to yourself. That's just not true. Uh, most people forget about dreaming. Your dreams are just like everything. Because I, I believe I leave my body and, you know, go around learning stuff. When, when, when the shell is resting, my spirit goes and wanders around. Uh, and so that way we learn. You learn also by giving people readings. There's a little teeny bit of you in every reading you give to others. A teeny bit. Some, somewhere in that message is also a message for you, the reader. So I was, uh, oh, I forgot what whose video it was already, but uh, she said, oh no, I never, I never get anything for myself. That's not true. That is not true. If you're listening and paying attention and you work your your uh, craft, I'll call it, well, and you know, you do the things you're supposed to do to get higher and higher for yourself, not for other men and women, for yourself. That's why you have a sacred space. That's why you have your own tools that you cleanse. How many of you tarot readers cleanse your cards after every single reading? Just curious. I'm not shitting on anybody. I'm just I'm just giving food for thought. Okay? When I have my altars up, I cleanse all my tools right after I read them and every full moon. That's just my schedule. You you do whatever you need to do for your schedule, but you need to listen. The only way to listen is to center yourself and stay centered and stop watching silly things like the news all the time. Not every Okay, this is part two to that. Uh, readers do read themselves. Um, and when I say, you know, food for thought, stop watching so much news, as well as a bunch of other things. How many people do you have in your life that just bitch, 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 bitch? And I do. Of course I do. I'm human. Yet I, I watch myself. I watch the things I say and who I say it to. So pretty much the only person I tell everything to is like Ryan and my counselor. That's it, because sometimes people could be in a good mood, bad mood, whatever, blah, 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 and you're going on and on about how you don't feel good, and they're going on and on about, you know, I don't know, their new boots they just bought, or, you know, the new truck they just got, or whatever. So, and I don't necessarily want to put that off on uh, you or anybody, how I was feeling that, remember that first night it, it uh, got down to negative 17? I was really scared. <clears throat> I really was. So, you know, everybody just doesn't have your best interest at heart. They just don't. When they see you happy, then they're mad and jealous and whatever. It's just a human thing, you know. So you have to learn to control yourself. And I'm so happy I've gotten a million times better at just not saying nothing. Before, it was just when I didn't feel good, I wouldn't say anything because I know some shit might come out of my mouth and you'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with Tosh? Ah, yeah, she just started taking Ozempic. She don't feel good. Okay, see, but everybody don't know that. You guys know that because I share it with my TikTok fam. Um, 
watch you, you the whole about thing about energy is if you don't keep your energy up all the way around you and you let that one friend in who complains about nothing but why she ain't got a man or why he ain't got a woman and he wants the bigger car or truck or whatever and she wants the bottom red shoes and you know things like that all of that contributes to your energy going down 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 so i know a lot of people were mad at me but by the same token you know there's two or three people who decided to let me go out of their life and that's good you should let me go if you feel i'm not the highest and best for your energy you sh you should i'm shitting on you just this once just this once okay maybe twice uh let me go yeah just like i let them go because if you can't keep your word to yourself how the hell are you going to keep your word to me you know so it doesn't feel good but it's necessary and now i have a wonderful happy thriving rich life mm -hmm. I do. when you get your box from me please open it carefully because i will have a card in there i forgot to get cd case holders so it might be in there right behind your box so be careful and don't throw the box away until you read what's in there okay all right guys thank you have an awesome day no, when you get this, I'm not going to remember what I put in your box. That's why I made this video. All right. Love you. Have a great day. Okay, let's hurry and see what this is. <sighs> Didn't shake it enough to get all the snow off feels weird saying that. It still feels weird saying snow. <laughs> Who sent me a shovel? <laughs> I got a shovel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's see. Put enough papers in here. Oh, I can't see that far. Hang on. Thank you, Don. <laughs> I got a shovel. I got a shovel. There's another box for you, Magic. Oops, 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 oops. I got a shovel. Wow. I feel like a big girl now, you guys. I got my own shovel. I got my own gardening tools. I got my own almost everything. I got a shovel. <laughs> oh. Dang it, sorry. Okay, anything else in here? Nope. But you know I gotta save that, right? Yeah, I gotta save that one. To put it back so when I put the shovel down in the basement. Okay. Oh, look, I got a little, um, lip, lip, uh, yeah, uh, never mind. All right, let's see how I do this. Oh. There. Okay, now. It's all good. Oh, it's a tiny shovel. Tiny shovel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me see if I can put it between my fat legs. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Yay! Okay, I gotta go practice. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Don. Oh, that's too hard. Oh, that's too hard. That's too soft. Look at that. <laughs> I can't really show this way. So I make space for my trash. So you remember, I told you when I called Chewy to order supplies for February? Yeah, and the girl was so wonderful. I told her, I said, well, put somebody on so I can give you a good review. So that guy and I ended up talking for almost two hours. Yeah. So he says, you know what? I'm going to send Princess a little something. 
And he did. Why USPS left it up at her house, I don't know. It says Tasha Harris on it. Oh, hi, kitty, kitty. I know, I'm going to build you a winter home thing. Come here, princess. Look what you got. Come here. Princess, where you at? Princess. Come here. Look. Disney bundle box. Oh, look. That's for you. The guy at Chewy sent this to you. Isn't that cute? Oh, sorry, the lighting. Sorry. Come here. And you got one of those. That's for you. And there's a Mickey Mouse. Move, Magic. Come here. That's for you. A cute little dog-looking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and what is this? Oh, you get a scarf. I don't like those because, you know, the color bleeds off on her hair. And you got some treats. Look, come here. Come here. Oh, look at your treats he sent you. Look at that. Look at that. Here. Move magic. Thank you. Isn't that the sweetest thing? See? When you take a moment just to be kind to others, you get your blessing back. Here, we'll toss that on the bed. And I'm going to show my shovel really quick. My new shovel Don got me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Don. Thank you so much. I love it. There's not enough snow, but I moved what little bit it, there is outside. I moved it around. I'm going to work it. I'm going to work it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I got my first shovel. Woohoo! Now I can uh, oh, keep up on it and make sure the path from my door to the other side of the so-called driveway it stays nice and clear. And I can walk to the mailbox more. Is that good? You like that? Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, honey buns. All right. I got enough exercise for the morning. Look at these ingredients, you guys. This is what I just got from in Princess's box from the guy at Chewy. He sent three toys, a uh, thing to wrap around her neck. I don't like those because the color always comes off on her hair. And that doesn't seem like the healthiest option to me. It said U.S. beef is the number one ingredient, is it? Okay. Look at that. Uh, she likes it. Wow, she doesn't. She's so picky. Mm, mm, mm. That's so wonderful. See, that's what you get for being good to pe to good people. You know. It starts with beef at least, not some, not sugar. Wow. <laughs> That's nice, huh? Nice treat for me as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs>